Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 3030 Death War. We've been kind of co opted into doing a mission that we really don't want to do. So, um, I don't actually need to be in Seattle. Supposedly, I need to go to Albi. I'll say Albi, sure, why not? It's Albi. Um, but we still have a mission to go back to where the hell we were. What's our mission at? Yeah, it says go back to Dacia. We show that on the map. Go all the way back here. We've already taken the picture. I don't know why this is still highlighted. Yeah, we already have the photograph. We do not know, need to go to Raw. We've already done that picture. I really look at this again. Pilot yourself, you need to photograph Raw. It's in the Siati system. Yeah, we already took a picture of it. We're good. We could take a couple more pictures, I guess. It's weird that they want me to do that, but sure. So that is this way, I think. 0.7 AU. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's this way. All right. Um, let's just do a short split jump here. There. Okay, so we'll take a picture of... Oh, did we not take a picture of this? This is not like Vermeer at all. Maybe I took a picture of the wrong planet. That's hilarious. Another picture here. There you go. All done. Okay, so now that picture has been taken. How, I was taking a picture of totally the wrong planet. That is very weird. Okay, anyway. Nano's Love City is a skeletal steel framework, so don't go down there, otherwise you die. So... We're going to Wally at Ida Station 2 in Dasha. All right. Dasha is up here. Ida Station 2 is where we want to go. We might be able to go direct, but we definitely need to go to the start of refuel. So let's go up a bit here. Let drive. Get me close to the star. Not too close, though. About 37 degrees or so. We basically just want to skim right off the edges there. There we go. Filling up. Nope. Filled up a little bit. There you go. And we're good. All right. Let's get out of here. And I guess we try to go as direct as we can. That'd be nice to do. Can we actually do that? Nebula hasn't been mapped, so maybe... It seems unlikely, but we have been able to go directly south from Defees to Adenti. Means there are openings, we just don't know exactly where they are, but if we can map that out, that might be really valuable for later. Alright, let's try it. Let's go try going straight, see what happens. 58 light years, we're not going to make it in one push. I mean, we could. Be a little low on fuel, we could totally do it. Also, our cargo is up again, so it looks like we have a little bit of fuel in reserve. Okay, we just just map out the nebula. We're good. We'll get escape velocity. There we go. All right. Now, of course, I do want a better ship as well. As soon as we get this paid off. Oh, man, the nebula is a little tricky here. Okay, so... Hold up. Maybe go, like, that way? It really seems like there's a hole right there that we can just sneak through. It's going to be a little tight. Maybe take a little bit of damage to the nebula, but not too much, I think. Okay, that's a little close, but still not too bad. And we like edge right north here. And that might be it. Made it out. That was totally it. There is a hole. So there are holes occasionally. That's really good to know. Every new system. So holia. Yeah. Extremely dangerous. Okay, not gonna stop there then if I can avoid it. It's not for now. I'm not I'm not good with the battles yet. And especially since our turret doesn't seem to be working. Well, maybe I need to be targeting stuff. Maybe that's what needs to happen. I don't think I've been targeting. I haven't been hitting the um, R button for new guys. Okay, hold on. There's a star system here. Where are we at? We are just barely in a star system. Looks like there's some mining we could do if you really wanted to. We're going to go near the star to fuel up here. Hopefully no one else is crazy enough. There's a couple of red dots that I do not like, but I want to get close enough to start a fuel up. I need to pass the star anyway, so what the hell, right? 
Here we go. We need some fuel. You know, if we fill up our cargo bay, we can sell the fuel. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it should sell for enough. And a little damage. Try to get away from the star a little bit. There we go. We're, we're full up, and our cargo bay is more or less full. As long as the red can't pull us out of hyperspace, we should be in good shape. Cargo bay is really full, filling up. Oh, you know what? I sold all my stuff. I didn't even check to see if the Trilixian Bumble Juice was actually getting for a good price. I totally forgot to look. Damn. Anyway. The whole mission thing... T well... Yeah, finding Kent, I think, just totally distracted me. Didn't even look. Didn't even look. Alright, whatever. Nebula Radar should not have any problems. I think we go straight to Eda Station. We should be good. So we got the pictures they needed. Actually headed straight for a nebula. Yeah, but the Eda station's inside. Before I even get there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're good. Uh, switch to here. I'm gonna go... Eventually, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it and make that turn. There you go. We made it. And as soon as we drop below 1 AU, I'm gonna just drop out a warp here, split drive, whatever the hell. There we go. A little far, but that's okay. Some white marks there. I'm not entirely sure what those are. Probably just large ships, right? I should derelicts around, too. Alright, just make sure you don't crash into anybody. Um, barely, but we made it. Oh, hello, Eda Station. Hopefully I have the photos you want. Please wait. There we go. We're in. Okay, so we want a guy named Wally Vanamar Grogan. That's a hell of a name. Oh, the last name, really. Wally's fine. Wally, looking for a Wally? Wally, you're for Wally here. Wally, Wally, Wally. There you are, Wally. Here's your package. Photos, thanks. You heard the news? Oh? Someone found a new shortcut through a nebula. Yeah, good for them. I stay clear of the nebula. Probably wise. Got stuck on one for two hours. Two hours? And they ran out of fuel. Anyway, thanks for the photo. Okay, so I think... I think what they're trying to tell me is that if you find a new path through a nebula, you get... rewarded? Though that did not happen for us. Our cargo's fuel. Hold on. Um, so we want to go to goods, um, sell all. Anything good here? Like, what's the Trilexian Bumble Juice? Oh, look at that. That's a really good price. That's double the price we bought it for. If we had sold it here, we'd be in really good shape, but unfortunately we didn't. Lenanthium for 38 It says that's a low price. I say so, man. Average price. Do not want average prices. Low price is good, though. A dom trait, you say. Do I? I just bought something. You know what? Fine. Still half my hold with that. Sure, why not? It's supposedly a little price. And a little bit of money on refueling. And let's go. Oh wait, no, no, we want a job console. So I want a brand new system. It doesn't look like we have one of those. We need a translator. I don't know where the hell we buy those. Dacia, Dante, KPFQ1. I don't think we've been there. Scan of a planet. It's only 18k, but better than most of these junk jobs. All right, sure. Where is that? Completely in a different direction. We're supposed to go to Alby. We could maybe. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. The nice thing about the fuel scoop, though is that we could just visit each one of these star systems and don't have to worry about jobs or anything like that because we don't care, right? But the trouble is if we get, like, pulled away or someone can, I don't know, if there's an Interdictor-class starship, I don't know if that's a thing or not, but assuming there is, there's an Interdictor-class starship, they could pull us out of warp and blow us up because we have... Very little in the way of defenses. I'm not wild about our defenses right now. 
So I want to get enough money, and then we can start exploring all the star systems, find the best way around. Um, so, yeah, I just want to go to new star systems. So let's go here. Dasha, from Dasha, looks like this is a straight shot through the nebula. We should be fine. So sure, let's go ahead and take the scan. 18K. Yep, I have a camera. Damn right. A shuttle taxi has just arrived. Okay. Very safe, it says. Yeah, we'll see how safe it is. We should probably also look at a bunch of derelicts because that seems to be the best way to raise money. We can rescue people or at least provide their bodies to so the grieving families. That's not so bad. It's not a bad way to get some money. I just want to get away from the system here. Okay, so we want this star system, which we don't know nothing about. So I can't target it yet. Okay, well, we know it's roughly in that direction. So let's just get to split, see what happens. I mean, this is mostly the game. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. This is a neat mini game, just making our way through the nebulas, trying to find shortcuts. It's a cool idea. Especially if most people try to avoid the nebulas, that means I might have a competitive advantage. I don't know if that's mapped out properly, but well, it's kind of mapped, right? Because some of these missions are timed. So it kind of makes sense that there'd be a little bit of a competitive advantage for it. Make it so that other people can't quite do what I can do. I want to dip south a little bit here. Have a new star system. Um, I don't know what the hell that was. Join the race. It's dangerous. I don't know what that means. Sounds potentially problematic. We'll drop out of hyperspace here. EPFQ1. That's what I want. Gah. Little atmosphere. Unpredictable, aggressive quadruped beasts have just been reintroduced. Why would you reintroduce unpredictable, aggressive... Make any damn sense. So we're taking a picture, right? What my mission is? Yeah, scanning my planet required. Okay. Better we go and take a photo. Damn skippy. Okay, we have no photos right now. Okay, good. 2.14 light years, a jump. And our fuel is actually looking really good. I want to dip towards the star, but I think we're in good shape for the most part. Were there any stations? I didn't remember seeing any stations in there. Uh, looks like there's a couple of derelicts, a couple of mining areas. There might be a station. Yeah, there we go. Probably a Wookan Land Heady. Maybe. And maybe the radar says we're fine. Here's Ga. Hey, Ga. Go ahead and take a picture of this. Take a couple of pictures. What the hell? And there we go. Okay. Barren world, little atmosphere. So it goes. So where are we taking these pictures? Ula Station in Inuray. Don't remember Inuray. Oh, right above. Okay, well that's super easy. Um, let's head towards the star and refuel. Which is directly south of me. A lot of derelicts nearby and some mining areas. There's a pirate station. Okay, let's stay away from the pirates. Did not realize this is a pirate area. I guess that makes sense for being dangerous. So we're not going to sell our cargo here, that's for damn sure. The pirates do not like me, and I do not like them. A little bit close to the star, come on, give me that fuel scoop. Give me that fuel scoop. And we want to just head north and get the hell out of Dodge. Come on, come on, come on, give me that fuel. Oh, I'm not actually heading towards the star, dummy me. There we go, that's better. Need to pay attention to the shadows. Okay, there we go. Fuel going up. Just wait. We don't actually need to get that close. Oh, but the fuel doesn't... Ha right, we can't gather enough fuel if we're not moving. That makes total sense. And we're good. Let's get out of here. We don't care about God. We want to go to... Anyway, in Ula Station 1, I think? Station 1. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Make sure we're not about to hit anything. The nebula should be fine, right? 
I don't think there's a risk of the nebula. Yeah, we should be good here. Looks like we're about to go into the star system here. Just exited. Uh, make a slight turn here. We're good. We're good. We're good. And we should be... Yeah, here we go. Head directly to Ula Station. How's the green? Moving like a ship. That is a huge signature, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is right near the star. Hold on. Jump up. <laughs> Let's not crash ourselves into the star. We've come pretty close to these stars sometimes. I'm not paying attention. Yeah, that's a little close. I mean, we could we could skim the star here. Yeah, give me some fuel. There you go. Let's also not take damage. How about that? Give me a way. I and mean, we are filling up the cargo bay, which is nice, but let's not go crazy. All right, and then Ula Station's right there. And we'll drop out in three, two, one. Oh, sorry about that. You are in a freaking hyperspace lane. What are you thinking? I like they don't penalize you for crashing these guys. It's like they recognize it's not our fault. Okay, so we just need to hand this off to a guy. Battle in progress at Inuray. Shit, do we have to do it? And we might have to do it. So I'm going to need to talk to Angus Barre. Angus? Angus Barre? Mr. Barre? Mr. Miss Barre? I just don't know. There you go. They're not the droid. I don't care about the droid. Go away. There we go. Your photos? Up a lot. Um, no new trade routes from here? Nope. Okay, later. All right, only got 18k for that, but that's not too bad. So there's apparently a battle going off in Inneray. Let's go ahead and go to the trade console, trade up, trade away rather. El Dante, oh, look at that. We actually got a decent price for that. If we had filled up our cargo hold, we'd be in really good shape. Sell everything. We actually have enough to maybe buy a new ship. Oh, man, if we still had that 600,000 ship, where the hell is that at? the hell is that at? It's nowhere, that's where. Damn it, we're going to have to work our way up. I didn't see it here, though, to be fair. Let's look at upgrades. I don't think this is our new... Yeah, I don't think we've been to Ula Station before. Cargo scanner, credit history. We've seen all of these, though. Afterburner. Yeah, not wild about these. Okay. Any good news? Bronson Federation Cup of Orbital Racing has dramatically sacked four of its top board members after an advertising candle. Four were found taking payments from the winner of the prestigious advertising rights contract. Most notable sacking was the late Jacksonville Reger. After a sacking, flew his pleasure cruiser into the nearest moon. Holy shit. The rest of the board members released a statement saying, We have purged all corruption from the sport, and in the future, outside audits will be used to ensure no further scandals of this type. Adding, We regret the death of Jacko. He was a true character. A character? That's his obituary? He's a character? That usually means he was a dick. If someone shows up to a funeral and says, that guy, what a character, it means that guy was a dick and I hated him. I just squashed the bug. Wipe him away. Come on, wipe away the bug. There you go. Okay, where are we going? Oh, we've never been to Bexine. Transit a well-wrapped gift required. You know what? I'm good with that. Yeah, let's go to Wixine. I mean, there's another one down here in Orlanda. But three minutes. I mean, we're doing pretty well. Where the hell is this at? Never been there before. It looks like a straight shot. It's a little bit tight for fuel, but it's doable. We could do it. Might even make us bounce up north, which I'm totally okay with. So that's a land out. You know what the gift though? The gift I think might be better, and that's vaccine. Okay, so we pass that star system. It gets us basically looking at two star systems. I like that. It makes us pass through a nebula. But that's possibly negotiable. You know what? Let's do the gift. Low importance present. You know what? No presents are oh no, sorry, the vaccine. Well wrapped gift. Here we go. Hold my slave droid. Okay, so hold on. 
Also, it's time, but whatever. Slave droid. How does that work? I guess if droids are sentient in this universe, which it doesn't seem to be the way of, with Kent's any indication, then the droids are sentient. Making any sentient thing serve you is therefore slavery. So why don't I just save my droid? Why save my slave droid? Anyway, don't accept this. So we have three minutes thirty. Let's go. Run, run, run. Fast as we can go. All right, want to go directly this way? Don't bash into the. Oh, you can't bash into the advertisement thing. Okay, good. New news article release. Send more probes. Uh, maybe if you like. So. Just straight away. Just straight. As far as I know. Yeah. I mean, it's all highlighted in blue and everything. Let's just make sure we're not going to crash into anything there. Hold on. Hold on. Almost crashed into part of the nebula there. It would have been really bad. Still a little close. That is super close. Okay, we made it though. Civlob. Extremely dangerous. Alright, so we're not stopping there. Sorry, Civlob, but tourist destination, you are not. And we should be coming in pretty close to the star system we want right now. No nebulas, though. Looks like we're good. Okay, Bexine. Risky. Okay, Risky's not too bad. I mean, obviously, you don't, you don't want to put down a home here or anything, but Risky's not terrible. I'm in the freaking star system. Please. Okay, we are in the star system. All right. So... Vaccine, you say? Hello. Only one station here in Frigia. We did not use up too much fuel, but I do not want to waste our time here. Head straight there. I think it might matter how much of a bonus we get. If this was in the green, I think we would have gotten to, like a huge bonus. Let's try not to get it out of the yellow. That's my goal. And... Now... Go ahead and there we go. That worked. Hello. Get an autopilot. Let the computer take control. You know, if that's actually an option, that's not so bad. So we're looking for a slave droid named Evor Wilby. Evor. Looking for an Evor here. Evor Wilby. Evor. Evor. There it is. You do not look like a slave droid. That's disturbing. Hey, thanks. A prob? Okay. Yeah, there we go. All done. Got we need. Complete mission. Let's see what we have in the system. Let's do a little bit different stuff. I mean, I know we still have the story mission we haven't done. Let's look at the trade console. Is there any upgrades we can buy here? Let's see. Cargo scanner, credit history thing. We've seen all these. No, they tell us if we have anything new. We're not there yet. What about ships? Oh, ho, ho. Here we go. Dragonfly War Sloop. I like the... I like where your head's at. What do we got? Only 20 tons of cargo. That could be a problem. It doesn't have a turret mounting either. Yeah, not wild about it. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. But no thanks. F-Bill. Only 28 tons of cargo. We have 60 tons right now, so I need something a little bit better than that. 18 tons? What do you get? A day older and deeper in debt. Police Viper. 22 tons. No turret mounting. No thanks. Oh, the Archer looks pretty cool. What do we got? 110 tons. Here we go. M3 Trader. Curved and slick. The Archer is designed for cargo duty. Load her up and feel the power. Worth the money, but it could be faster with a different ratio, differential ratio. But leave your grandmother feeling comfortable. The Arctur shines a holder. Okay, so a little slow for the split drive. The time missions are going to be a little difficult. Look at the engine power differential there. So 4.0 is what this ship right here does, but our current ship does 6.25. So our ship's a little bit faster in split drive. But... Less missile racks. That could be okay. More cabins. More cargo space. Under the split ratio. No, okay, so it's faster in split. No, this must be in sublight. Oh. 
That could still be okay, though. Trivia. The fire button was originally made of plastic, but the designers design decided to make it a little special and turn the knob into pure diamond. The dealer says it's a decent, decent ship. That's a little tempting, actually. I'm a little tempted. It's basically all of our cash. But the increased cargo size, I mean, it's only, well, okay, it's almost double. Almost double our cargo size. That's pretty tempting. What else we got? All right, the Jeff X, we've seen that before. The Track 100T. Does have more cargo space and cabins. Does have turret mounting. Same number of missile racks. Engine power is about the same. Flow ratio is the same. Turn speed's the same. Hmm. That was identical to the smaller model. So I think we already have a variation of this, which is fine. But, oh, and the Volta looks a little bit asymmetric, which I kind of like. Oh, far lower cargo capacity, though. Impressive diff ratio capabilities makes this very specific kind of ship where you'll want to explore the far corners of the galaxy or chase around pirates. They will be getting a cheap ship does what it says in the hull. Hmm. Dashboard is made from ground-up sponge, and the captain's seat is, in fact, a chair. Um, as opposed to... A little bit worried. Electric saucer. Right, right, right. We've seen this before. Engine power is pretty good. The split ratio sucks. And no turrets. Uh, the C plus S sloop. Basically a fighter ship. Now, I think we want a trader. So, the track 100T, which stands for 100 tons, I would guess is a little tempting, but I think instead we'll go for the Archer because it just looks like a cooler ship. Now, I do want the Lochu. I think that would be cool, but the difference here is a little bit too high. Can we see a Lochu available for, like, for much, much less? I could have sworn. Decent cargo size. Turn mounting, yes. Yeah, okay. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. We'll get the pain eventually, too. But we have to build our way up. So it looks like the Arctur would be a good way to do it. So let's just go ahead and buy it. You're mine, Arctur. Yes, I keep all upgrades and weapons. Thank you. Appreciate it. I need to repair it a little bit here. But that's not so bad. That's not a bad repair bill. All good to go. Thank you very much. Look at the upgrades. We still have that in turret form. Okay, so we're still with the same stuff. I don't care about the cargo. We don't have anything new here, I don't think. We're good to go. As far as goods go, fueled up. Thank you. I can sell a little bit of that. Okay. Any good jobs going to a new station? Olanda. We haven't actually been to that yet. If someone's trying to kill me, does it really exist? Take a photo of Jerome Kluss on board Pro Station in the Olanda system. Ordered to pay you 24000 for your effort. If he's looking to kill you, who are you ordered by? Makes no damn sense. And then, so you go to one system in Rolanda, and you go to another system. Get away, dude. Go away. Go away. Um, the Rolanda system we have not been to yet. So I'm okay with this. Sure. I mean, we could be go up to KP, but that's a that's a pirate station. I don't want any part of that. So not a whole lot of missions here. I'll just take this one. Or we could say hang it all and go find some derelicts. Yeah, let's go find some derelicts at the base station. Let's do it. Go load up. Remember some derelicts. Like there's a lot in the system. These great marshered via indication. Yes, there are. Kind of disturbing. Okay, so there's one this way. And with 100 tons, we should be able to take a lot of this stuff. It should be directly north of us here. Where are you? We're coming right up on it. There we go. That was good. 14. Damn, Skippy. They apparently put a lot of work in that animation. Alright, so let's look around. 
lot of stuff here. Potential bad guy or potential uh, rescues. Okay. Oh, wait, is that a guy up there? Might already be dead. Yep, he's already dead. Okay. I'm looking for rescue guys, though. I want to try to rescue these guys. If there's might be a guy here we can save. Nope, he's dead. Damn, damn, double damn. Mashed up crowd chamber, so that means he's dead. Items down there. There's white lines indicate survivors, so that's what I'm going for. Guy might be alive, possibly. Might have taken too long to get to him, we'll see. And he's dead. Okay, well. At least we get some things. We don't actually get any cargo, per se. Oh, wait, transfer content to ship. Hold on, where was that? Where was that? Here. There you go. 15 tons of COE Apris, whatever the hell that is. But there might be more cargo here, so I'm going to look around. Unfortunately, all the guys are dead. I'm not sure they would have been alive, even if I had hurried. I don't know. We can at least grab their bodies. Two more items of value here. Oh, hold on. Magazine, glove, okay. Yeah, the scanner only shows me the stuff that's actually valuable. That's good to know. Grab this, please. There you go. Clothes and a cash box. And one more thing, maybe. As I edge my way out of there. Um, I don't know what the hell it's pointing me to. Oh, wait, there we go. Great found. All cube inside, seven pieces of nebula map. Okay. And then we're good to go. Yeah, scanner shows nothing else. Get out of here. Unfortunately, didn't rescue anybody, but we did find some bodies. So we can put those in the cargo hold. That could have been worse. I mean, it was pretty bad for the guys who died, I suppose. All right, so... Those bodies should be floating out there. Yep, there they are. Track those in as soon as I get in range. Hello, ship. My cargo is packed with gold for a trader like you. 23 tons for 163 each. Do you want this deal? I have no idea how much that is. Like, I have no idea if that's actually a deal or not. But sure, what the hell. He might have just taken advantage of me. He's a smuggler gunship. Okay. So it might actually be a really good deal if he's a smuggler, right? Theoretically? No idea. Anyway. Smuggler guild ship. Yeah, I mean, it could be a good deal. Anyway, we're going to go to the next thing up here. It'd take up most of our cargo space, though. All that beautiful gold. And... It's funny the cargo is measured in tons and not in volume. Right? Because gold's very heavy, right? But it's very dense also. Like, you can fit, like, you know, 50 pounds of gold is actually not as much as you would think. You could fit it in one hand. You wouldn't want to because it's 50 bloody pounds. Can you, fit a, fit, can you carry 50 pounds in one hand? Probably not, right? There's a dead guy here. Let's just, uh... We got, I know we have cargo there. Oh no, there's no there's no one to rescue. Okay, never mind. No white lines at all. Never mind, let's just grab what we can. Cargo here, great. More COE Apris. I have no idea what that stuff is, but apparently it's very popular. Bunch of junk around here. We can go around. Um, let's see. Okay, apparently there's something here. That safe box. Oh, we have cargo. We have cargo. Where was it? There it is. Six tons of gold. All right. Why are we carrying gold? Nobody knows. Is it legal? I mean, it might be legal. You find it in a... Um, it's like, it's not technically... It's not technically illegal, but it's not technically legal for you to have gold in America. You're supposed to sell it. Now, strictly speaking, the government can't really do anything to you if you decide to keep it. 
I already Jiminy freaking Christmas. You know, it's not it's not illegal to have it in your home, but technically all gold belongs to the United States government. Technically speaking. So you should always turn it in because they're supposed to give you a good price for it. They're supposed to give you market value for it. So oh, he just died first hit. Okay, we'll get out of here. That wasn't so bad. We might be able to just turn all this in. We got gold. That's actually really surprising. Plus from the smuggler too. I just clicked on him to see what happened. And turn off it worked out. And we still have enough for I think we can do one more. Do one more derelict. Let's go for the top left one here. I think we have enough cargo space to make this work. Undeselect the cargo thing there. That's our new thing we bought last episode, making that happen. I don't know if it's useful or not. At least we see what kind of weapon it is. If I knew more about the weapons, I could be, I could know enough to be scared, right? But I don't. Look like a cool ship. Enter at your own risk. Okay. Well, if there's any possible people in here. Let's see. Possible survivors too. Okay, let's try to rush down the survivors. Like there's one like there, right down here. Hello. Rip. Dead. Might be one more guy up this way. That's the dead guy. Might be two more guys up this way. Okay, here we go. Hello. Oh, we made it. He made it. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'm um, gonna try to burst through here. I just saw a mainframe unit there. Oh wait, hold on, cargo. I thought there was another guy. Is there another guy? No, none derelict cleared. Okay, so it says it's cleared. We can look at these guys, but most of these guys are just RIP. Okay, well, we might as well pick up the cargo, because what the hell, right? These guys certainly aren't using it. Um, yeah, so I want that thing there. There we go. Skull, okay, just a random, random skull. What do we got down here? It's this light that I thought was white. I guess it wasn't. Burst through this. Come up top side here. What do we got? What do we got? We have a case. Cash in it. Not so bad. And another case. Good old magazines. Everyone loves magazines and books. Gotta love books. Random head just floating around. You do not want to know how that guy was decapitated. Okay, I think we're good here. Leave. But hey, we picked up a guy. It's not so bad. He's alive. If we hadn't shown up, he'd certainly be dead. Alright. That's probably this guy here. Dr. Herman. We had a lot of dead guys. Um, he's eventually going to be tractored in, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. After these dead dudes. So I'm going to call it there, right? That's probably all of our... Not really all of our cargo space, but close enough. Pull you in. And there we go. Okay. Let's go to our nearest star base here. It's only Frigia. We don't even need to fuel up. We just sell of our cargo. We should be in good shape. Let's see how much money we make off of this. So we have, right now, we have... How much money do we have? 49k, right, because we just bought a new ship. Great deal of sense, actually. ECRU40E has ejected 20 tons of hydrogen fuel. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? But why isn't this selected? Weird. 0.6U. We could probably get there fine. We don't need to split. Why did he dump part cargo? Well, why did he drop his fuel? That's weird. I know I didn't do it. I know how to drop my fuel, and I did not do those steps. Maybe he needed this space? I don't know. It's weird. The AI, I don't know. Fortunately, this is not a PvP game, so I'm not sure why they're telling these things, unless, of course, you can go find out where that is. And go pick it up. I guess that's fair. 
low. I would like to... Yep, there you go. Okay, so we want to sell everything. And see how much of a profit we made from this. So 49k right now. 92k. More than doubled our money. That was actually really good. Okay, that was... I'm actually kind of impressed that worked. So we can just go derelict hunting and basically make bank. Any good missions this time? Bounty offered. Insane pirate wanted dead. 44,000. So we'll investigate to one ship in this system. I shan't offer unless you've already killed 10. So we have not killed 10, so we can't do it. That's too bad. Very important pickup. Go to Olanda, then bring it back. I'm not wild about that. No. APFQ1, no thank you. Not really anything good. Okay, so. What are we going to do? We're going to leave the system. We are going to... Let's look at the map. Okay, so we can't visit the derelicts again. That makes a great deal of sense, actually. Let's look at the star system map here. Okay, let's go down to Olanda. Basically southwest. Essentially this direction. We have enough fuel, we should be able to make it. And then of course we can always refuel when we get in system. I need to turn on the nebula map just to be sure. Don't bump into anything, but should be okay. Might be headed towards that a little bit there, but we'll get there. Escape the star system, and there we go. Okay. Yeah, a little closer than nebula, but that's not, not too bad. As long as we don't scrape it, we should be okay. I'll head off in this general direction. We'll go to Olanda. And we could have gotten paid to do this, but sadly, no one was offering. I guess we could have taken a bunch of cargo. Well, we could always... That was... Low near the star, right? Everyone needs fuel. Five new planets found. Very safe. That's what I like to hear. That is what I like to hear. So... Alonda. Oh, we're passing right by it. Hold on. Got a split drive. Mess that up a little bit. That's okay. Look at Alonda here. There's a guy right here. Hello. What's he want? Here, pro station, foray station, a bunch of stuff here. What do you want? Hello? He's not going to be attacking me. He's a smuggler. Um, can I talk to you? Hi there. The smack off my comms link. Okay. Bye. Jerk. Why the hell are you stopping here then? I don't have any cargo, man. Get away. Leave him in the dust. That was weird. What the hell did he come up to me for? Make any damn sense. Anyway, when we get near the star, we'll fill up our cargo hold with hydrogen fuel. And right about here. Yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage. That's okay. Okay, it's not so bad. As long as we fuel up here. Take a little bit of time to do it, but that's alright. Are we actually taking damage? No, just cabin temperature alert. I mean, yeah, 40 degrees, yeah. That would be hot, for sure. Oh, no, now we're taking damage. Now we're taking damage. It's still not too bad. I just want to fill up the cargo bay with fuel. In a little bit longer than I thought it would. It's putt-putt here. But you used to have a car like this. Would putt putt over hills. It was not a good time. Used to make the the trip on a highway. Oh, not feeling up anymore. Hold on. Back towards the there we go. Used to make a trip on the highway, but my car was a putt putt, so when I went up the hills, um, not a good time, basically. Of course you go in the slow lane. The trucks are the worst though, because the the cargo trucks go slower than my putt putt car. My putt putt car can go, you know, 55 easy up the hills. 
not easy, but you know, it'll strain a little bit, but it'll do it. But this, the rigs won't do it at all. They go maybe 30 up the hills, which means I have to go to the fast lane, which makes no damn sense in my putt putt car. Because the damn six wheel rigs or whatever, eight wheel rigs, 18 wheelers, there you go, 18 wheelers, are um, basically don't have, don't have their own lane. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Top raw. I have no idea if that's actually anything we can go to, but or land at. We'll see. And there we go. At the very least, we can sell the fuel. We'll see what these guys have on offer, if anything. I'm going to crash into that dude. No, he was a background guy. Okay. Out clearance, please. Supposedly very safe here. Press down to kick the droids. No? How about no? Sell everything here. Thank you. Please tip the bar droid. Say so. You get upgrades. Lag roll missile. Ion cannon. Some stuff that looks cool, but I don't know. Buy a turret slot, huh? I'm a little tempted, but... We already have the Gatling gun as a turret. Or do we have a second turret spot? We might. I don't know. The fact that it's grayed out probably indicates we don't, right? Yep. Need to sell your current for a weapon before fitting a new one. Okay, so that's that's fair. We don't have any new stuff here. Credit history, bioscanner. Translator, you say? Definitely buy that. Get thing on the translator. Translating the jobs and job computer. Damn, Skippy, gonna do get that. 10k, cheap at twice the price for sure. Fuel manifold. What does that do? Increases fuel usage while splitting. That's fantastic. Cheap at twice the price for sure. That'll save us some cash on the regular. Haggling permit? Later, like haggle with the mission contract to gain more money. Haggling sticks depend strongly on your reputation. Ooh, nice. Local field dampener. What is that? Slows down the fitted vehicle quicker, slightly reducing speed, but also improving maneuverability. Okay, nope, that's it. I'll totally get that. Um, don't think we need anything else. I think we're good, but that, that's a great find. The translator alone is probably worth it. This ship's no way. Can't afford it. Yep, that's okay. Alright, making progress. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been 3030 Death War. I'm Peace Universe, here Peace Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.